welcome to Kids Academy. Hello boys and girls, this is Teacher Michael, and today we're going to be looking at a worksheet that asks us to find all the equal parts. But before we get started, we have to ask ourselves, what does equal parts really mean? So let's take a look at an example of a shape that's cut into equal parts and a shape that's not cut into equal parts. Come on, let's take a look. So for our first shape, we have a square, and this square is cut into two equal parts. We know they're equal parts because the two parts are exactly the same size. They take up the same amount of shape, and they're exactly one half of the square each. What about this other square? It's the same size, it's the same shape, but our two parts, are they equal? Does each part take up the same amount of space? Uh-uh. This part takes up way more space than this part. So this square is not cut into equal parts. Today, we're going to be looking for the shapes that are cut into equal parts. Now, it doesn't just have to be two equal parts. It could be cut into three, four, five, six, eight. It could be cut into any number of parts, as long as each one of the parts are exactly the same size. So let's take a look at our worksheet maze, read the directions, and get started right away. Equal parts, chocolate party. Help the chocolate monster find his way to the chocolate party. Trace his path through the brownies that are cut into equal parts. Okay, so let's start at the beginning and look for all the brownies that are cut into equal parts. So we'll start right here at the beginning and I trace our way to the first brownie. And our first brownie is nicely cut into two equal parts. We can see that because if we look really closely, each part is exactly the same size. Now as we move along, the next brownie we see is this brownie right here. But is this brownie cut into equal parts? I see two different parts, but our brownie is not cut into equal parts. This first part is way bigger than this part over here, so this is not equal. So let's keep moving on. The next brownie I see is right here, and it's cut into four parts. Do these parts look equal to you? Let's take a close look. In my expert opinion, I would say that this brownie is cut into four equal parts, so we can trace our way through this brownie. Let's keep going. The next brownie I see is right here. And again, this brownie is cut into two parts, except the two parts don't look equal to me. I see one small part and one way bigger part, so this can't be a brownie that's cut into equal parts. Let's keep moving. The next brownie I see is right here, and again, it's cut into two equal parts. I can tell because they're exactly the same size. So let's trace our way through this brownie and keep going. Ah, now we've come to a fork in the road. We have two different brownies to examine. So and let's take a look at these brownies. So right now we're right here. We have this brownie that's cut into two parts. And even though it's cut horizontally, those parts look pretty equal to me. And our other brownie, is standing tall vertically. And these parts, they're pretty close, but this part seems a lot bigger to me. So I think the correct way to trace is to this brownie right here, because it's cut into equal parts. We can follow our maze to our next brownie, which was nicely cut into four equal parts for us. That's nice, but each part is exactly the same size. If we keep moving, again, we see this brownie right here, and this brownie is interesting because it's cut into two parts, but it's diagonal. But even though it's cut diagonal, are they still the same size? Of course they are. It doesn't matter if it's cut vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. If the, each piece is exactly the same size, it's cut in half or in equal parts. So we can go ahead and trace our way through this brownie as well. And if we keep moving, we come to a fork in the road again. We have two new brownies. Do you know which one? Do you know which one is cut in half into equal parts? Well, I think it's this one, because these two sizes are exactly the same. And this brownie right here has one small part and one big part, so this can't be correct. Let's keep going. If we continue tracing, I see we come across this brownie. Again, it's cut diagonally, but it's into two equal parts, so we can keep tracing. Finally, we come to our last two brownies which are cut into four equal parts and four equal parts. Even though these brownies are cut differently, 
one is cut horizontally and vertically, and the other is just cut diagonally. Each part in the two brownies are the exact same size, so both brownies are cut into equal parts, which helps us arrive at the chocolate party. Remember, boys and girls, when you're looking for things that are in equal parts, make sure that each part is exactly the same size. Thanks for watching, boys and girls. We'll see you next time. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on new videos. Find links to our apps in the comments below.